Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hanotrak and welcome back to our pre-release run with Stellaris 2.2 Megacorp as the Cult of Draco, a criminal mega church. We're currently in the Sanctum system, this is Draconia and last time we found out that we have Marauders right next to us, we lost the scientists to all those stations and stuff. I mean, I should have probably expected that being like on the inner ring. I kind of expected them to be down here instead, so yeah. It's also a bit of a shame that we can't get access to, to that inner ring area over here, so we'll see how we uh, deal with that. We have found our first neighbors and possible conversion targets. Honorbound Warriors, the Kithin Star Coalition, we're trying to get this system over here. Um, we're investigating an anomaly, they're just serving the system. And we'll get to we'll get to surveying soon. I do have a ship in here though, so this should be fine. I hope. I think. Um, yeah, we're trying to make a rush for uh, yeah rush for one of these black holes because I really want to build the uh, matter decompressor, which is going to give us a ton of minerals later down the line. Um, yeah, nothing nothing else really. Our two um, alloy foundries are online now on Draconia, so we're getting a lot more metal over here, or a lot more alloys that we can use to build ships. Really happy about that, I like it. Um, I've renamed all the people, so we now have Jake Hunter as our governor. We have Arnold Zimmerman as a scientist, we have Uma, PGDK, Ares of Thrace, Chapicus, and Rubicant. So you guys are here, welcome, Archpriests. Do your best to spread the draconian faith. One of the things that I want to talk about here is the automated shipyard that we found last time. Like, we're a bit weaker than these guys. They have superior fleet power. Everything else is equivalent. Uh, which is actually pretty good, at, um, considering that we're playing on Grand Admiral. So, the highest difficulty that we have available. And... Yeah, we probably might want to build more ships, but we could also try to activate that automated shipyard and maybe just get some get some ships for free so that's in the canem system and it needs a construction ship so we're gonna send this ship over there looking good i'm considering just building a second ship to survey the system i really don't want to lose it it looks like it's a fairly valuable system with a lot of minerals um or even some other special stuff uh Still also investigate an anomaly over here. I mean, I could just leave that, send that ship over. But what I could do, maybe, is just build another science ship. This will only take 60 days, which is probably a lot shorter than having to send this ship back. And we really need to get going with the, with the serving here. Okay, we have signs of battle. We have a Mount Graveyard expedition. Situation Man. log updated. Canem system is just full with, with stuffs. Interestingly enough, that's one ninety-four percent. Yeah, that's still a lot to survey in the in the Ginnigan system. Or is there? Yeah, there is. Okay, yeah, there's a lot to survey in there. So we've got to be a little bit careful there. Um, Kathan Star System closed its borders. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! They might be coming in here. I mean, I do have a construction ship on the spot, but it still might not work out for us. Construction complete. Okay, so let's wait a sec. Let's recruit another dude. Hey, we have a genius now. Awesome. Who's our genius gonna be? It's gonna be Rich Nancon. Glad to have you on board go out we have to survey the system I should have probably not gone after the anomalies so the ISS Asaurus never made it all the way to 133 D 3547 to study the anomalies surrounding it the ship along with the science officer blinked out of existence as it was navigating the debris field and then reappeared minutes later uh, PGDK reports that they found themselves briefly in some extra dimensional space external viewports revealed that they were surrounded by countless ships of alien design suspended in a seemingly endless void before the crew could get their bearings, the vision abruptly faded and then they found themselves back in regular space. However, roughly half of the crew are missing. The science officer speculates that they may have been selectively trapped by some unknowable mechanism in that strange space. Really? That is nasty. Just absolutely nasty. Alright, come on. Push, 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 push. Get over there. 
dimensional rift. The missing members of the crew thought lost to the dimensional rift have reappeared. They hailed us from aboard an unknown vessel, not entirely dissimilar to our own science ships, idling close to where the ISS Aquarius originally experienced the dimensional disturbance. They claim to remember nothing of their time outside our dimension, aside from a vague awareness of having been away for some time. They wish for nothing but to return to service under Science Officer PGDK and intend to surrender their ship to draconian authorities. Okay, yeah, I mean, gaining a science ship in a system that I desperately need to survey? I mean, who's gonna say no to that, eh? So, do we get another scientist? Are we that crazy? I don't know, to be quite honest. Hmm. Are we paying any upkeep for this? Yeah, just energy credits, though. Prototype class, what do you have on you? Hyperdrive, fission reactor, chemical thrusters. It's not a great ship, but considering it's already here, we're gonna take Rich Noncon off the other thing and just start serving. I guess the, the extra dimensionals want us to have this system. They're like, here, have some help, buddy. <laughs> I find that hilarious. And awesome. Absolutely awesome. So come System on. Get cracking, guys. I mean, it's not... It's probably not a... No! No! No. 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 This is not right. Alright. We can't let them. We can't let them. Uh, we will go ahead and declare war. So... We'll go gale speed on these guys. I'm, I'm not gonna allow them to do that. Um, so classes. We're gonna need to build some more ships. Fleet is already at full strength. I'm just gonna up that in terms of corvettes. Alright, let's build two additional corvettes. They will, they will join this fleet later down the line. I really don't want them to have that system. They've already taken enough and they've kind of closed the other side of this. Oh, they declared rivalry. Okay, we're gonna declare rivalry on them then. Oh, come on, come on, move it. System survey complete. We need to get in there and we need to attack them before they finish building their space station, which is probably not something that I can do. God damn it. Damn the damn the damn the damn the damn the damn. The extra dimensionals want us to have that system. Did you did you not get the memo? System survey complete. Dude, did you not get the memo? I I told you, you you're not allowed. Construction complete. Oh, that makes me mad. That really makes me mad. Oh yeah, we also gotta rename our admiral here. It's not gonna be Marcia Sedonis. It's gonna be. Levi's Son of Mars, really good name for an admiral. I like it. Okay, let's make sure that we... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just give away our, our minerals here. So we have some money now. Might be foolish, but I'll, I'll do this. I'll do this. We'll, we'll add some more ships here. This just makes me mad. It just makes me mad, I gotta say. And that's just seven energy credits in there. Well, we're already rivaling them, so let's see what we can do. Are they? Yeah, the equivalent. Economic power is superior now. That is probably to be expected. And they also kicked out my science ship, which um, yeah, I'm not happy about that at all. All right, entering the orbit of Draconia. Survey, survey, survey. This is actually a pretty good way to, like, level up one of your scientists. This seems to be, like, uh, a completely unconnected arm, but we don't really know. But yeah, if we can, if we can get into that uh, black hole and claim that, at least we're gonna have, like, a good bit of space. Gaining 13 alloys now. Still building one more Corvette. I could probably sell some food too. I mean, maybe that is just useless crap, but... 
What, what kind of planets are you living on? Savannah worlds. They're hostile. We're probably never gonna be great friends. Also unhappy with us being a criminal syndicate. So let's say let's say I wanna make some some claims. Where are we? Ship designer, market contacts. Yeah, claims. So claiming this, claiming from our rival. If I can also claim the Boston system, these guys are gonna look real bad. Question is, can we punch through? Can we punch through one of their systems? That is what I want to know. Like through one of their stations, that's gonna be rough, I guess. Like even if it's just a basic station, like ours over here, um, it's gonna have like 500 military power. And yeah, we don't really have that much military power to bring to the table. Going for the research speed here. If we could get the afterburners on our corvettes, that would be great. Okay, we have volatile moats over there. We're here. Special project complete. No, where are the volatile moats? Guys, you, you found volatile moats. What, what happened? Did we lose another scientist? Anomaly. Are the moats in here? I don't see. I'm gonna go full details. Yeah, invisible. I mean, maybe we'll just leave it for now and just like fortify Yaragana. But if we could punch through this, through their stuff. Ooh, and we got a frigate. Okay, that changes things. <laughs> they now inferior. Oh man, you're gonna get it. Filthy Xeno scum. Okay, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that we started Discovery. I kind of would have been better to take Supremacy, but oh well. What can you do? What can you do? I'm gonna add these ships into our fleet here. I don't want to get another Admiral. I uh, should be able to get another one. Fleet is. Oh no, wait, that's the wrong one. Yeah, yeah. Let's build another one. Let's build another ship. Anomaly found. Okay, I'm also gonna need some troops, but we have mastered a new technology. Okay, so uh, fusion reactor, energy credits. This is probably a wise choice. Yeah, getting better reactors kind of opens up a lot, though, in several different fields. If you get it, you should probably take it. So, we'll, 105 months. What the heck? Okay. Okay, I mean, we're still researching outside the area of expertise of that person. This is the only thing that is within the area of expertise, so that's just 74 months. 30 months, I mean, it's also more expensive. Mm, we're currently making jobs, 9.30. Hmm, that is not amazing. The main thing keeping us afloat is the trade that we're producing currently. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, okay. I see how it is. I want the Bilvaris Maelstrom, because that'll allow me to push further into that arm and cut these guys off. So, I'll actually go ahead and... This will cost me another 37. Can I make more claims as we're fighting? Actually, not 100% sure. We might be able to, though. We can also enslave these guys and make a thrall world. We can't enslave our own people because we don't have slaver guilds, but we can enslave uh, foreign species. Okay. Construction complete. Okay, there's another ship coming. Okay, let's recycle what we can in the junkyard. This is a really good system. I like it. If we can get here, we can probably cut this whole thing off. Yeah, no, you're gonna, gonna survey that and then survey that. And then we're gonna build a station here. Stop anyone from coming in there. That is the plan, at least. Uh, if we use our influence for this, though, we're kind of gonna not have it to push our expansion up here. We can always take this. But we kind of have a temporary advantage by finding that frigate that we should probably press. 
So, and having having an, an early war kind of always looks good. So yeah, we're gonna wait until that System ship has joined complete. up. One of the small moonlets. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go for the anomaly. Fine with that. If this backfires, I'm gonna be a bit sad. Building a mining station. This will allow me to destroy that, guys. Why are your stations so weak? I have only 148 power. Why does mine have 451? Oh, because it's just a normal outpost. Sure. Yeah, I get that. Okay, so we have like 450. We should be fine to attack one of those stations. A science ship over here. Yeah, we're actually not doing anything with you. Can I afford another leader? We're already paying through our nose for this, so I'd say no. I'm gonna add that frigate to the fleet, which should also boost the military power. Okay, merge with the classes. All right, we can build another one. Let's check the let's check the claims again. Just 13 away. Yeah, we'll we'll wait for one more Corvette. And then System survey complete. claim that maelstrom again. I want I want my black hole. It actually doesn't really matter if it's that or the other one. This will be kind of nice. Because it gives us gives us more space. Um Oh man, pop growth or unity. I mean, I really I want all of these, which is a good thing. Having good text is good. I think I want the, the faster growth speed at this point. The longer we have that, kind of the, the better long term. System survey complete. Okay, we're done with this. Construction okay, complete. Okay, I have two people surveying this now. We have Delta Provonus over here. We have a lot of nice systems. If they built those stations, that is probably fine by me. The problem is if I don't take it now, they might expand in that direction. Maybe they already have expanded in that direction. Although I think we would see that. So, come on. Class is one. Join up with the main fleet. So how does that look? I don't think these actually take up any Anomaly fleet strength. Found. Okay, go for it. Do we have enough? Do we have enough now? Yes. Okay, we're gonna make those claims. It's gonna be expensive for sure. Almost there. We're also gonna need some troops. Uh, Draconia. Let's build some armies. These cost minerals, thankfully, so we're not in too much of a rut there, since we're still gaining a fair amount. System there are some, like, so just some pure alloys to be collected here. I like that a lot. Still haven't found anyone. Ooh, and we also have found a gateway. An ancient subspace gateway has been located near her black hole. It appears to have been built entirely by microscopic nanites of an unknown design. Oh no, come on. We do have an L cluster gate in there. Hell no, hell no. So this particular gateway shows signs of having been altered at some point after its initial construction. Its connection to the rest of the network has been severed. Instead, the only valid destination is an uncharted group of stars just beyond our galaxy that has been designated the L cluster by our astronomers. Although the gateway emits a faint power signature, it has been deliberately locked into some kind of maintenance loop that prevents its activation. Until we find some way of aborting this process, the L cluster will remain beyond our reach. Okay. Situation log updated. Interesting though. Like, if we have, if we can get that L gate for ourselves, maybe even like getting this, that would be awesome. I, I mainly need to find a way to get some additional influence. Come on, merge up, buddy. So now we actually have 500 military power, which should be enough to challenge a station because it's also not equivalent, like 500 military power across a bunch of ships across 10 ships is better than having 500 military power across one station. And I doubt that they've already started building defensive platforms. So let's just go declare war. We're going to conquer claims. 
And we could also go humiliate, but let's go conquer claim. We have declared war on the revolting Xenos. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. We found the dark matter in the black hole. That's awesome. I really want that. I really need that. Want that. Need that to happen. Let's build another ship, though. Okay, fascinating. More minerals in Delta Pavonis. I can't believe that this is all wide open and no one has claimed it. Okay, let's take that station. Zeno station engaged. Let's do it. We have some basic shields, but our stuff is not the best. Well, yeah, considering that we got that frigate, that actually makes us a lot stronger than we would normally be. Yeah, the amount of hull damage that we can deliver is kind of really bad, so. Complete. Come on, guys. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay, so that's that's ours now. Do we take any any losses? Uh, kind of on that corvette. We have mastered a new technology. Okay, what do we get? Afterburners. Oh, holy hell! I really want to upgrade these dudes now. There's the corvette build speed increase and the corvette cost reduction. I also really want that. I mean, none of these is really gonna matter for now, but sticking with the corvettes is probably a good strategy. Let's go for the armor, though. Mm, or do we go, like... Yeah, no, we have to go engineering boost. Like research boost level. We didn't get that. I think we already have it with the others. Society... We don't have it in physics, but we do have it here. Which means... Yeah. We need to boost our research. There's no way around it. How's Draconia looking, all things considered? Yeah, our guys are growing. We have half a Draconian pop over here. Building those armies. I can queue up another one. We're running out of money, though. We're running out of money, so we're gonna need to move forward soon-ish. Okay, so we took that. The question is, am I bold enough? Am I bold enough to, to take on Bustum? Actually, it doesn't have a station. It just has an outpost. You fool. <laughs> you absolute fool. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, then. I take that system. It's mine now. Come on, do we have another apple? I... Survey complete. Yeah, no, this is fine. This is fine. So we, we serve at the black hole. Now what we're gonna do is like send one of them further down that arm. And then Rich, you can like go and survey systems in that direction. What do we have over here? Savannah World. Okay, awesome. Looking good. And there we have another science ship. Um, do we have debris in here? No, we don't. From the looks of it, it actually looks like our stations have less power than theirs. That is not reassuring, to say the least. Mm, I'm gonna send you to survey that system. And then move down here, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna move into the other system. Let's let's see if they have any ships in there. We're also getting reinforced with another 40 military power. Tremble before my might. Okay, let's take this station. If we get that one, we're in a really good position because we can steal both planets. So they have a tundra world here and they have a desert world. We don't care about the tundra world, but we can enslave basically both populations. And we can also use this to fortify it. And once we got that station fortified, they can't really touch us anymore. So they have... Ah! <laughs> they only have a 233 fleet. Ah, you puny people. They're actually going to attack the Giganum, the Giganum system. So, yeah, let's, let's have them come in. And let's see what they do. Like... This is fine. That's a tropical world. I don't carry too much about it. Let's just go ahead and... Actually, can I can I still make more claims on you? Uh, make claims. What? Oh, yeah. So we can do it during the war. But 
it's gonna be a lot more expensive to make claims after the fact. Okay, I get that. So how's it looking? You have like a 500 station over here, so it's gonna be pretty difficult to make that a thing. Um, unless we build a lot more ships. Mm, I really want to add the afterburners to my fleets, but it's probably not something that I can do right now. Um, so, considering all this, we might just go ahead and expand in that direction. So, and yeah, I cannot afford the influence to skip a system there. Okay, so hello buddy. What do you say to the complete destruction of your fleets, eh? Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. That one, that one frigate that we nabbed from that from that shipyard is absolutely tipping the scales in our favor here. I'm also I'm happy that the AI is now cleverer, but at the same time they are not as incredibly overwhelming as they used to be on Grand Admiral. Okay, so they have more war exhaustion than I do now. Question is, maybe we'll just... Like, we should be strong enough to take that station over here, but it's gonna be a gamble for sure. Um, let's add another ship. Even at like 600, what do they have on that station? Can I see that? Uh, some missiles, a medium call gun, and a red laser. What is our design? I haven't really checked our design. Normally the base design is okay-ish. What kind of ships are we using, Corvette? Oh, come on! Actually, having the flak battery is not a bad idea. Especially in the beginning. Because normally missiles are pretty strong. But since we can, like, neutralize the missiles, we neutralize almost a third of their damage. Because every one of our ships has that picket, that picket section. So I guess we're going to wait for another ship. Uh, no, tell you what, we're going to go and take that maelstrom. Ah, oh, and they managed to colonize over here. God damn it. Not to, to claim that system. I was too slow. I was too slow. That happens. We can just take it from the next time. Let them do the work. So... Yeah, um, so with that food, what we can do is we could take a decision. So there are a ton of new decisions. What we could do is encourage the planetary pop growth. So that gives us plus 25% speed. 25% pop growth speed. Currently we have 10%. This will push us up to 35. And if we get this tech, then we would be at 45, which makes a massive difference, I think, in the long run. Now, I could also consider just exchanging it for alloys. But having more pops is a really tempting thing. I think I'll do that. Do that right away. So now we have, like, yeah, 35% growth, gaining four per month. Uh, per month. That is System pretty complete. awesome. I gotta say, uh, still surveying. Things are fine so far. Things are okay, I'd say. I mean, if, they, complete. if they're gonna go with just that uh, as a peace offer, if I can just enforce my demands, that is gonna be fine. Okay, we have a natural wormhole in the Vichimo system. Right, okay, so someone does have access into our space. I'll be okay. So we have four armies. How strong? Uh, they, normally they don't tend to have very strong defenses on these on these planets. Uh, we can't see anything though. I really don't want to send that fleet out unprotected. We'll build one more army here, and I might also have to recruit a general. Kind of scraping the barrel here in terms of resources. It might probably be best to just finish this war quickly if we if we at all can they're just willing to agree to my demands a player would probably agree anomaly found let's just check that anomaly looking good and we got out of this what we wanted. Um, conquer. 
Status quo. They're actually almost there. War exhaustion, occupation, relative navy strength. The problem is for the status quo, I need to I need to occupy those planets. So I'm guessing as soon as we have that assault army, we're all gonna move them into here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do that next episode. For now, thanks for watching. If you wanna see more, please consider subscribing. Have a good one. Bye bye.